So often on the weekends, I get print drops from artmagic.ca. I'm in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and Art Magic is a wonderful local printing company, the best quality. This is an example of a frame, um, sorry, not framed. It's on a gallery frame canvas print of my little otter titled Otta Be Curious. And the back is all wired and ready to hang. And it's triple varnish, spray varnished. And you can just see where I've embellished with some gold and some bronze. And this little guy, when I first painted him, he had, I painted him around Christmas time and I was just in love with the glitter and the sequins, which is not something I typically do in my work. And uh, I just thought I'd share uh, that I was working on embellishing this little guy. And also just show you another example my mountain work, I do a lot of watercolor work with illustrative mountains on top. And this is a Dura canvas. And again, when I get it from Art Magic, I also get a printed certificate of authenticity. You can see I put my business card in here. On this side of my business card, I have my QR code for my gallery quality prints on my website and then on this other side the qr code takes you to my originals website so my business card is a bit of a dual purpose for reaching two different websites and this is the certificate of authenticity which is such a nice touch when you're doing reproductions of your work so it shows that it's a nine inch square print on uh, using pigment ink on dura canvas and I just pick up these little plastic bags. That way, if the client is gifting it to somebody, I haven't attached it at all to the canvas. So just wanted to show you that because I love embellishing. It's like a way of revisiting my work that I had done, you know, maybe on paper or on canvas, you know, a year or two ago, and then going back to it and revisiting it, uh, deciding what I love, what I might change. And uh, usually if I've put my work into print like this, I absolutely love it. I love that white space. Sometimes with uh, printing your work, it can be hard to keep that white space clean. You need a really good printer company that doesn't have any flaws in their canvas material. This is one that I have, I was just practicing finding a little floating frame I was going to do the framing myself, but it just took way too much time. It was really tedious. And uh, this is another example of an embellished. You can feel there's acrylic paint on here. And then I've embellished the moon. And uh, that's just some of the, this is just some of what I do again when I'm not painting because I do create somehow every day and I also, I do a lot of work on wood. This is an original that I had in my upstairs and I was just getting it ready in case I take it to my next venue, the audio room here, here in Calgary, Alberta. This is titled Blooming in Velvet. And on the back, I have a photo and my QR codes of my two websites. Usually I add my original signature on here as well. I love these sawtooth back hooks because you can just use, you can, you can basically position it, push it in with your thumbs, get it started and then hammer it in. So um, I just love those. And yeah, this is an example of some of my work when I was really into the artist Wendy Brightbill out of Colorado. I love Wendy Brightbill. I've taken so many of her classes. She's a wonderful mixed media artist. She does a lot of oils, but also acrylics and watercolors. And she, she's a wonderful teacher, so I do highly recommend Wendy Brightbill, and I'll link that in my description. This is another one I was working on that was sort of inspired by Wendy. And my father does woodwork, so he did these beautiful cradled wood panels, and so I'm really grateful. That's why I work a lot on wood. So you don't see me working much on wood in my YouTube videos. I am doing the YouTube for myself, just with what's sort of easy with my schedule right now. I'm a really busy uh, stay-at-home mom and I am a full-time artist. And for me, you know, doing some videos on these, you know, getting out all my acrylics and uh, it's just not something I can do right now. But I wanted to just show you some of the things that I have worked on. I think I'm gonna do the edges in bronze. I've been painting some of my wood panels with the bronze 
uh, the bronze edging and I really love it. And as much as I do love that natural wood look, I think it might just pull it together by using the bronze because it's more of a neutral. It's not such a strong color like black and it's not so light as white. I also was working a lot on round wood panels. So what I'm gonna do is just move my camera angle up so you can see this better. So I'm gonna take you on a little ride. So stay with me here for a sec. Using my old school tripod, which I got from my dad. It's amazing. Just so many things I'm learning how to use it. Still waiting to get new lighting. So fortunately the light is pretty good here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. But as you can see, my dad put his uh, handcrafted by D. McGregor. And then I had here my title, What Lies Underneath Radiates Beauty by Alison Dorant. And then I have my Instagram link as well as I've written that it's acrylic and wax on homemade birch panel made by my father, September 2021. 20, so this is one I've actually had in my home and I'm doing a little bit of a reorg. Right now I am doing a video in my kitchen. So every day I get out my paints and I paint in my kitchen. And then when I know uh, my son's coming home, he's five, I gather up everything and I make sure it's out of sight. So I'm portable. But yeah, this is mostly acrylic and again, wax. And I really, really love how it turned out. It's very abstract, but I just love sort of that darkness coming through and what it represents for me as an artist and then being able to paint over top yet kind of leave some of it coming through. I believed I used uh, an acrylic ink on the background and I love how it picks up some of the texture in the wood panel so I wanted to leave a bit of that in there and I'm also working on a few different things I've been working on. I have a series of girls and I'm gonna just bring my camera up. This is a work in progress, so it's something that I often don't show because it's definitely not finished, but I love that top part. This is the reticulated artwork that I do and I, fi I find it's very much my own style. I worked so hard to develop this technique. So the hardest part of this painting was finished and now I'm just pulling it together. And I do have one that's here waiting to be picked up by a client. So this was one of the girls from the series and she's called Greenery Matters. And this is in a non-glass frame, but you can see the gold shimmer and the accents. I really try to embellish. Uh, this is a gicle print. I used a white puffy paint almost, an archival kind of white paint and I just love her. She's quite long, so um, you, I know it's hard for you to see in my camera angle, but that's as high as I can get you guys. And then this is another example of one I've been working on. Again, that reticulated pattern that you'll see in a lot of my work. You'll see that it's in the background of this little otter, kind of all of that reticulated pattern there. And for this one, this is a girl that I was uh, doing for a fundraiser for Ukraine. So I have a couple prints that are to raise money for what's going on in Ukraine. And uh, this looked like a sunflower, this background to me. And I just loved the colors in this piece. And I felt that it was really great um, sort of artwork that represented you know, maybe a girl from Ukraine, they have those beautiful flower headpieces, which the names just sort of uh, lost me, but I'm embroidering it. So if you can see really closely here at all of that embroidery detail, that is what I'm working on. I sold one already. So this was uh, my second slightly larger canvas. And as you can see, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the back really in a clean way. I'm going to trim it and tape it up. And on here, it has the certificate of authenticity. I titled it A Little Birdie and it's pigment on Dura Canvas 24 by 16 inches with my signature. So this is something that it's definitely a labor of love. I really like to do embroidery when I sit and watch TV. And so that's just something I thought I would share that I'm working on. 
And then the certificate of authenticity for this girl fell off, but I titled her Greenery Matters. And this whole series of girls was about mental health and talking a bit about the anatomy structures of the brain. Of course, my background's healthcare. I have some experience in mental health. And I also included this reticulated pattern uh, in her face. And I played around with watercolor and acrylics, and I'm really, really pleased with this series. And what else? I am also just working on, working in my sketchbook. I love this color palette. I was working on this last night. And I'm also finishing Well, this is one of my originals that the piece is going to be one of the cards in my upcoming Oracle deck. So for those of you that have been following me, I'm doing an Oracle deck called Art Poetry for Insights and Inspiration. This says Nurture. And this is one of the cards. This is just a draft card. This is not the fully edited version. I'm gonna take out this element at the top that I just don't care for. I've put a beautiful light gray frame around the artwork and I can't recall if I changed the wording here for the Oracle deck, but this is an example of what the Oracle deck, what a card might look like, sort of the size. I will be getting rounded edges and again, it will be much cleaner, but it just shows this original and how it reproduced in print. And I have a wonderful, wonderful printing company, again, artmagic.ca. Uh, magic is spelt with a K, not a C on the end. And he does such good color matching when I do my photography. And I always do photography with my iPhone and a color card, and he works his magic, <laughs> pardon the pun. And yeah, so I really love how it's just so accurate. You can see I used a lot of the Neocolor crayons in here, the watercolor roses, and the line work. And I pulled this one out of my pile because it's almost done. It says there is beauty all around us. And I believe I started this when I got a new set of watercolors, and I can't recall which set. I believe it was a really affordable set. It may have even been the Crayola Dollar Store watercolors on very lightweight paper so i often either gift these or sell them at a discounted rate if it's not a really uh, heavy paper because it does change the quality and i i wouldn't want i, I want archival sort of watercolor paints that are going to last a really long time so uh, all of this work would ideally go behind glass but uh yeah, so I just thought I'd share what I'm up to and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching my videos.